From this moment and on, from this beautiful state that Bala Sulam writes about, where he feels how powerless he is, and he has zero hope to achieve anything by his own efforts, and he has no idea what to do, where he's left with nothing but to pray. And as a result of that, really, he reaches a true prayer. Not like we, we're saying that we have to pray and get organized, it's just in order to make room for this state. But here he reaches a state where from the despair, from no hope at all, out of simply not understanding what's going on, from this state awakens in him a connection with the next degree, that to turn to the Creator this is the only savior, salvation, and the true action, trustworthy action, that then he has who to turn to, who to ask from, and really then reaches a true plea to the Creator. Even though that here too, there are different states of lolishma and lishma, what does he need it for? What exactly is to do contentment to the Creator, to escape his own troubles? There are many calculations here, but already, as a result of him having zero chances of succeeding in anything but to all the time hold on to the Creator, this is something that has already been done. We have to think about this point and to try and feel it in practice that we really want to see this state in practice happening in each and every one of us and in all of us together. So what are we still missing in order to be there? What are we still missing in order to discover that we are in the final state of despair? Please.